Hello friends, my name is Tushar Savane. I am a sport teacher at Elpro International School. Today, I have come with a yoga session. Yoga got the four steps. Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam. So, basic two part we are going to see is the Pranayam and the Yogasans. In my last video, we have seen a standing yoga asans which we are focusing on the leg strength, balancing and the concentration. Now, today we are going to see a sitting asans. Most of the sitting asans gives flexibility in your lower body part, your joints and reduce your back pain or avoid your lower body part injuries or you can say heal your any other previous injury so we'll uh, start with the pranayam thing in pranayam there are four major pranayams Vatsika, Kapalbhati, Anulom Vilom and Brahmari now this all pranayam major four parallel pranayam improves your concentration your respiratory system your heart problem your cardiac problem by doing this you may solve and last thing you improve your you control your breathing you increase the strength of your lungs so first we are going to see a pranayam in comfortable position you can sit down relax your body there are two sub pranayam positions or pranayams one is kumbha and another one is reza in kumbha you take a breath in and you hold the breath inside and your lungs for some time this is called a kumbha where you store the breath for some time and second is a reza in reza you inhale exhale you breathe out and you hold some time without a breath so this also improves your lungs capacity or you can say your lungs may get stronger by doing this so first pranayam you are going to do is a anulom vilom anulom vilom is a simple asana this will help to control your hypertension or low bp this will help you to clear your respiratory system or in cold also this is beneficial and by doing this asans your headache your any other problem you may heal by doing this simple <coughs> there are two nadis in your nose one is a surya nadi and another one is chandra nadi or you can say hot and cool when you take a breath in breath out you can feel your one nostril is getting hot air and one nostril is getting cool breath so we are going to work on both alternative so what we have to do we have to use a thumb and an index finger so by thumb you can close your nostril one side nostril and from other nostril you can take a breath in after taking breath in you have to close nostril and you have to open your previous nostril and take a breath out now this is one round now like this same you have to inhale again with the soft same air nostril where you exhale so after exhale i will do a inhale after inhale close and exhale now this rounds this set you can try it for five minutes three minutes it is beneficial if you do a longer today i will do it for some 30 seconds you can keep it as long as you want every day if you practice you'll, you will see you have improved your stamina you have good respiratory system and if any other problem it may help so let's start
lives. So this pranayam is called as a anulom below. Now next pranayam we can see is a kapal bhati. Kapal bhati, we have to throw your breath in, breath out from your nose. You have to give a stroke to your lungs and you can take your breath out through your nose. By this asana, your acidity or your any other chest problem or digestive system problem, you may help by doing this asana. It is called a kapal bhati. But make sure when you are doing kapal bhati, you have to keep your stomach empty, water or any food. You have to avoid eating before doing this. At least three hours break, you have to keep in a gap. You have to keep in a middle. So simple position, same you can sit in your comfortable position and you can throw your stomach, push your third stomach in at the same time, throw your breath out. So you can do this for a one minute, five minutes as per your convenience or comfortable level. I am showing you for 30 seconds. Now those who are having hypertension, high BP, they will avoid doing this pranayam because we are giving explosion, we are throwing your breath out. It puts a pressure on the heart or lungs and throw your breath out. So this is not good for a hypertension patient. Hypertension patient will avoid doing this. They can do a anurum below to control their breath. Now next pranayam we are going to see as a brahmari. In primary, you can use your thumb to close your ear like this. Your three fingers you can keep on your eyes and your index finger you can keep exactly on the forehead. Now after doing this, you have to take a breath in and you have to say Omkar. But Omkar you have to say without opening your lips. So, like this sound will come and the vibrations will, you can feel vibration uh, in your heart and in your brain. So after doing this, you can feel very peaceful. Close your eardrums, your ears, close your eyes, your fingers on your forehead. Take a breath in. So this is a primary, you improve your concentration, focus and after doing this asana you can feel the peace. If you are having any tension, this asana will heal that tension or give you peaceful mind. After this next asana we are going to do a primary. Now the Brahmari is a simple asana, sorry Bhatsrika, Bhatsrika is a simple asana, just we have seen a Brahmari where we did it, mm -hmm. now Bhatsrika, in Bhatsrika you have to take a breath out, so you can breathe in, in an exam, in an exam, but you have to take your breath out with full capacity and take it deep, so we we'll start up Bhatsrika.
Now this is a bhasti ka. In bhasti ka, you take a breath in with full capacity, you breathe out with the full capacity, with full air pressure. So if any blockage, any thing comes in the middle of respiratory system, it take a take it out or heal the problem. So bhasti ka improves your lung strain because your lungs expand when you take a breath in deep and exhale. It gets stronger. Now after doing Batsika, we are going to do uh, sitting asanas. Now this was a part of pranayam. After pranayam, we are moving toward a sitting asanas. Now this. Position is called Asan Stiti for yoga asan. This is the beginning position, Asan Stiti. You can keep your legs straight and sideways. So now first asan we are going to do Paschimottanasana. In simple way, you can up your hands without bending your knees. You have to go down and touch your toe. After folding your toe, you can bend down and try to touch your head to your knee. And you can hold this position for some time. Relax. Now by this asana, you improve your legs. Hamstring stretching is done. You improve your back flexibility. This is beneficial for your back, spine, and for your legs. It is called a Paschimottanasana. Also, it it gives a pressure on your stomach, so your abdomen muscles, your inside organs, you can say kidneys or intestine, get exercise or get pressure and start functioning. It in a proper way. After Paschimottanasana, we are going to say is a Padmasana. Padmasana is a simple asana. From the asana sthiti, you can keep your one leg on your thigh. You have to keep your foot on other leg, thigh. Simple. Take your both legs on the thighs. Your feet is not touching down. Floor, but your legs, your thighs and knees are touching down in the floor. This is called a Padmasan or you can say a lotus position. By this asana, you are getting a pressure on your lower body part, your knee joint, your pelvic joint, your ankle joint is getting a stretch in a certain way. You can feel a stretch. This stretch heals your low body and your low body things. It heals. So after Pashyamatanasan, next asan we are going to do is a Sukhasan. So it is a simpler, simple way. Sukhasan name indicates it's a comfortable asana you fold your legs and sit in a simple way your back straight your chest and head is straight and your legs are fold this is sukhasana usually indian people sit in this asana to have a foot simple asana now after this next asana we are going to do is a Sarvangasana. Sorry, it's a Vajrasana. Now this asana is also simple asana. Simple you can fold your leg. Back side. Your leg should be flat. The instep of foot is touching floor. And you have to sit on the legs. So by this asana, you compress your calves, your legs, and your 
full leg part get your compressed this is good for your digestive system after doing after eating also you can do this asa this is good to improve your digestion you can take a look sideways the position is you have to flatten your legs and sit on the leg so the leg part your its foot instead of foot is touching on the floor and simple you are sitting on the your leg part this is a vajrasana now next sitting asana we are going to do as like vajrasana only in this asana you can stand in this position sit in this position you can bend your back place your hand on your hip again take your other hand and place it on the hip hand stretch try to arch your body it is called a ushtasan from this position you can place your hand on your hip take your other hand and try to arch your back so this is the ustasan this helps to improve your spine flexibility your back flexibility and gives pressure so pressure on your lower back and your shoulder blades now next asan we are going to do is a supta vajrasan it is a next part of the vajrasan same in the vajrasan position <clears throat> you are sitting in this position simple you can go down slowly in a supta vajrasana you can take a side angle side view you can see this is the position of vajrasana and slowly you can go down and touch your head down on the floor so here you get a stretch on your quadricep muscle you bend your calf your back and you feel stretch compress your pelvic bone so this asanas this sitting asanas we have seen you can practice each asana for 3 to 2 times and hold the position for 15 to 20 seconds this asana is good for your flexibility if you flex your muscles properly or your joints properly you will improve your mobility once your muscle get rigid it is become difficult to move fast or move properly so try to keep your muscles keep your joints free or on working position so that's it today we have this much asanas in next sessions we can see some strengthening asanas which is lying asanas thanks for watching this video try to follow the instructions and try to follow the asanas stay fit stay safe stay strong thank you very much